Hello fellow puzzle addicts. Today we have Brain Games Calendar 2017, a year of entertain your brain puzzles. I did not create any of these. I'm showing you all the people that I did. What we'll be doing is going through these puzzles together and showing how you have to think to win them. Hello, welcome to Brain Games Calendar 2017. We're in week 33, day one. We have letter blocks, let's begin. Move the letter blocks around so that words are formed on top and below that you can associate with weapons. When you're out there fighting, you have your tanks, your guns, your, well, let's do long distance, which is tanks and cannon, and I don't know if they're called cannon anymore, but sniper rifles. Those are your long distance uh, mortar shells and stuff like that, long distance. Your mid range is your um, uh, machine guns. Your, your rifles and uh, not shotgun because shotguns are sort of close more close in weapons your pistols are, are close in and then um, that's the shooting ones what about your uh, close quarters which are knives and, and um, batons and staffs and that that kind of thing and uh, what about uh oh wait a minute long distance well distance is uh for the those are your shooting ones and your knife ones what about your exploding ones like mines and grenades and and uh bombs what well, that's what all of those are bombs but bombs is two shorts and we do have a g we don't have an m for mine so let's spell see if that works g g r e n a d e it's not plural right yep g r e n a d okay and what about um so we're doing close quarters you have knives and um, you know batons and sticks and what have you. But what about um, well, wasn't there a, uh, a a knife that you could put on the end of your rifle? I don't know if they still do that. Uh, but I think that was called uh, by bayonet. I think that was what you put on the end of your rifle. I don't know if they still make knives that can do that now. I guess that's considered close range and they don't bother. They just use a knife. But let's see what they say. Okay, that looks good. Looks like what we wanted to see. Excellent. See you next time. Hello, welcome to Brain Games Calendar 2017. We're in week 33, day two. We have golf maze, let's begin. Draw the shortest way from the ball to the goal. You can only move along vertical and horizontal lines. The figure on each square indicates the number of squares. The ball must be moved in the same direction. You can change direction at each stop. So we're gonna be starting here and we're gonna end up here. Alrighty. So let's just take a quick look against the board just to see the lay of the land as it were. And we can start in four directions. Okay, so we go this way and we have a one and we can go up to two or down to three. If we go to three, we go one, two, three. If we go to two, we go one, two. And we end up at three. If we go this way, we're at four. One, two, three, end up at four, which puts us at one, puts us at one. Let's just say three. Huh. One, two, three. Okay. I wasn't expecting to be done that fast. I usually don't pick the right direction in the in the first few minutes, for goodness sake. Okay. Let me write that clearer then since I um I went to two and then three and then one, two, three. One, okay, that's why that's wrong, because this is four, and I went to three spaces. Well, now I know where I want to end up. Okay, so this was wrong. This this four I didn't do right. It should have been back up to four, and that would put us in a, a, 
a do loop, I mean a for loop. So that wouldn't have been helpful at all. So we know we don't want to go to the one. Let's go to the three. One, two, three. And we can only go up or back, which is a loop, three loop. If we go back, one, two, three, at two, and we can end up at one, two, and then one, two, three, which puts us at five, which puts us right back in the do loop, in the, in the loop. End up back where we were. So the one is not for us. Let's try the two. Two, and we can go down to one, two, which ended up at the three. One, two, three, which puts us at the four, and we're back where we were before. So we don't want to go down. So let's go one and two. One, two puts us at four. One, two, three, four. And that puts us at one, two, three. So that way isn't good. So we could go up one, two, three puts us at one. And if we go up, we're back at three. See, if we go up, we're back at three. So we have to go one, two, three, not helpful. So three, this will just put us in a five, which puts us in a four, which puts us in a four loop. So that's not good. We can go sideways, which puts us in zero. Nice, no going anywhere from that. I've gone in all directions, one, one. One, two, three. I have to go up. One, two, one, two. One, two, three. And I have to go up in a loop. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ah, there we go. Now we're in the right place. I, I forgot to check the other direction. One, one. One, two, three. Okay. Finally, that was a lot of work. So let's see what their answer is. Let's draw in their answer. One, to two, to three, to one, two, three, to one, one, three. So let's compare our answer to their answer. And there we go, finally. See you next time. Hello, welcome to Brain Games Calendar 2017. We're in week 33, day three. We're up to word search. Let's begin. All the words are hidden vertically, horizontally, or diagonally in both directions. The letter that remain uh, unused form a keyword in reading direction. So we're going to start with E, E-U. Fight. Model. Parchment, sailing, saccharin, scroll, ship, snowy, stolen, Thompson, trail. Okay, let's see what letters we have left over. T, I, N, T, I, N, Tintin, okay, let's see what they say. Yep, we got that correctly. Alrighty then, see you next time. Hello, welcome to Brain Games Calendar 2017. We're in week 33. We have day five. Uh, Jennifer, number two, seven, two, three. So day four, and we're doing Sudoku. Fill in the grid so that each row, each column, and each three by three frame contains every number from one to nine. So we know how we begin. We do our single number scan, and we start with one. Okay, this one has only one one. But we have only two numbers needed for this row. 
So I'm going to just start out with that and get that out of the way. We need one, two, we need three, and nine. Now see, nothing to tell us where three and nine go here. But we can see from the purple already. And then for the rest of that frame, you need one, two, one, four. So one and four go there. But we already have a four here. So this has to be one and this has to be four. I just wanted to get that out of the way because it would have bothered me that having those two just empty there. We have this frame. And we need one, two, three, six, nine. Well, six and nine can't go in this column uh, row. So we know two purple. So it has to be two and three. Duh. Which means six and nine have to go up here. Okay. Actually, I'm glad I started this way to show a different way of starting a puzzle. You don't always have to do a single number scan. You can always try and fill stuff in first, and then we can throw a single number scan in later. Well, we have this row here, which now we know where two and three go. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need eight. One, two, three, eight. And we already know where two and three go. So this has to be one and eight. And there's nothing in the things to tell me about one and eight. So. And that frame has this frame right here. Make sure we know what we're talking about. Needs three more numbers, so let's see what they are. We need one, oops. We need one, two, three, five, eight. Right? And we know where one and eight go. So we're left with two, three, and five. Well, this spot right here has a three in it. So we know that two and five go over there and that's about all we can do for that. So let's do a number. We know we have a nine here, here, and we have a nine here. So we know where the nine goes. And then we know where the nine goes here, which means this is six. And this is nine. And we know where the nine goes here. Okay, so this column needs one, two, three, six. Two, three, six. It needs two, three, and six. Well, there's a two in this frame. So we know three and six go there. Okay, so we already got this answers in. Well, this row column has nothing in it. More, only two spaces left to be filled in. So we need one, one, two, three, five, eight. Okay, one, two, three, five, eight. Well, we know eight can't go here, and eight can't go here. So this has to be eight. And this has to be one. Okay, so we've taken care of eight. And now we need um, one, two, three, and five. Let's see, nothing tells us about five. Hello, fellow puzzle addicts. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more great videos.